Hi guys and welcome to another Bootstrap 4 tutorial. This is Jamie with System22 and WebDesignerTechTips.com. Well in this video we're going to create a sticky menu and you may ask yourself what's a sticky menu. Well here's an example we've got here. If I slide down the page here's the menu when we get to the top. It stays there at the top. And this is great if you want to demonstrate your hero section and then have it stick to the top like that. So let's get started. I'm going to open my brackets text editor. This brackets text editor is awesome. It's free. You can download it from a link below the video here. I'm going to go up to file. I'm going to hit new bootstrap template. Now I'm, this is an extension that I've loaded into brackets. All these extensions are free. If you need to load it, go to your extension manager here. Once it's loaded, just hit the available and start typing in whatever the extension is. And that's a bootstrap template, I believe. There we are. I just typed in bootstrap starter template. And there it is. And I'm going to be actually using two in this demo today. The full starter template, which you'll see in a minute. And the RCH bootstrap snippets when I create a button in a moment. But these are all free. Just type it in there and if it's available you can hit install and it'll either install it automatically or take you to their page where you can just drag it over here and it'll install it there. So back to the drawing board as they say, new bootstrap template and it just creates the HTML there of a basic template. Now if I save this, let's save it. We've got to save it as an HTML file. So we'll go save as and we'll call it index and you've got to put the file type after it which is an HTML document. HTML. Save that. Uh, Here's the folder I've just saved it into. There it is. And if you double click on it, it'll open in your browser of choice. I'm using Chrome here because I just love the inspector tools. And this is what we get. Here's a nav bar. And just a little bit of text here. Let's go to lipsum.com. And we'll use a bit of Lorem Ipsum which is dummy filler text because we need to create a bit of space here. So paragraphs generate. So anyway, we've got this so far. And of course you can download templates and all kinds of things or just scratch build it. It's very easy to do. Now, if we go back to here, let's just call this sticky. That really doesn't matter. This demonstration. Okay, so here's our nav bar, as you can see, within our body class here. And there's a bit of text underneath. I'm going to change that to a section, I think. Section with an ID. I have to change that closing tag to section as well. This is purely for my demonstration. You don't need to do this if you don't want to. Okay. So here's our nav bar. That was that black nav bar that we were looking at. It's nav bar dart. Let's create something on top of it. So I'll just create a new section. And I'll give it the ID of, let's say, hero. Which is a common name for that first bit that you see where you want to emphasize something, a product or a service to your Customers, let's put a div inside there. And we'll make that, we'll give it a class of text center. I'll make all the text central. And also a class of text light. That'll make all the text inside a light color. Okay. And 
and let's put something inside there. We'll have a heading, H1, heading 1. Paragraph underneath, perhaps. Okay, and I'm going to use one of those short codes I was talking about with the extensions just now. Um, to add a button quickly. There we go, button primary, that'll do fine. And this is the text within the button. Okay, let's just get rid of that little gap there. Now what we want to do, we want to make this a certain height. So we've got a section ID of hero. We've got some on page style here. So I'm just going to add it here for expediency. I'll get rid of what they've got there. And it's an ID. So it's hashtag. Not three hashtag hero. And what do we want to make it? I'll make this very simple. Say background. Red, why not? And height, give it a bit of height, 500 pixels. And we'll give it a bit of padding at the top so the text is in somewhere in the middle of the page or somewhere in the middle of the section. Uh, say 200 pixel to do it. it's 500 pixel tall so that should take it down a fair ways that will do for there I should think now if we save this and see what's going on it's not going to have the effect I want just now but let's have a look see what's going on there's what we've got at the moment let's refresh it there we go and as you can see although we've put this on top of our nav bar it still appears below it. So what we want is we want our nav bar to be below, below this. And when it scrolls down, not enough content to scroll at the moment, but when it scrolls down, we want the nav bar to sort of roll up and stick to the top there. So let's go back to our brackets and make that happen. What I'm going to do is that little bit of section with the text in it, um, let's just tidy that up quickly. I'm going to call main, we'll, we'll say minimum height 1200. And again, it's an ID, so it's hashtag. Min. Minimum height means, you know, it's got to be at least 1200 pixels or whatever the, the amount is you put in there. And let's just add a bit of dummy text here. What I'll do is create a few P classes or paragraph classes. Let's copy this a couple of times. Control C to copy, Control V to paste. All right. Tidy those up. And let's go to our Lorem Ipsum text that we brought up just now. And let's just copy some of this stuff just so we got something in there that we can use to use to demonstrate. And you could you think you might be able to copy all of this and just shove it in there. Well you can, but it won't have any paragraphs between because it'll just see it as one blocks of block of text because it won't read that space but by putting these tags in there it'll separate it a little bit so let's see 
I'll just demonstrate with this. I'll do two at once, but when it comes up on the screen, it'll just look like one once we've saved it. See that gap there? You won't see that on the actual page itself. Plus it looks pretty ugly. Okay, last one. There we go. Now let's save that again and see what we've got. We should be able to scroll this time. Control S. And back to the site. Refresh. Get rid of that lorem now. So there we have it. There's our lorem ipsum there. And that was our fourth block of text, which I was saying it's actually two lots there. I think it breaks about there. But anyway, we can scroll now. I'll just give that a bit of padding at the top. Now let's go about making this a sticky menu. And it's really difficult. It's really difficult to pay attention. <laughs> actually not. It's ridiculously easy. I just want to put a bit of padding on top of that text there. In fact, I'm going to have padding all around. Why not? All right. Um, now let's make that menu sticky. Are you ready? It's really difficult. Here's our menu navbar, navbar expand, navbar background dark, fixed top. All we need to do is change fixed to sticky. Think you can deal with that? Tough stuff. <laughs> right, let's save one more time. Control S. Back to the site. Let's refresh. Should have a bit of padding there now. Now, as you can see, our hero sections at the top on our menu is underneath our hero section, which is the way it should be. We've got our text, so it should scroll. Now, when we scroll down the page, this should go up. And when it gets there, it should stick to the top. There you have it. Nice little feature, because that way the people have got to scroll down if you make it a, a full width section here. So let's just make that 1500 pixels. Control S to save, back to the site, refresh. There it is, obviously that's pretty silly looking, but you could have a nice image in the background there and your hero or whatever, your emphasis text and button down here. There's the menu when you get down to it. So there you have it. That's how to create a sticky menu. It's really useful and I see it a lot and it's great for emphasizing products or services that you have before people actually get to the menu itself. So I hope you found that useful. If you have, please like, share and subscribe to our YouTube channel. If you're interested in web development, have a look down below. There's some great free courses down there. There's also some premium courses with some huge discounts for our YouTube subscribers. So do take a look. Once again, this has been Jamie from System22 and WebDesignandTechTips.com. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.